Hello everybody and welcome to Abby Learns to Fly. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to launch a free program. This is a free flight simulator. Uh, we're not going to do that. Uh, it's a free flight simulator called Flight Gear. And it's not bad. But we're going to go through the tutorials which are extremely in-depth. Yeah, though. Okay, that's weird. Uh, let's check our settings here. We're going to go off of... Uh, we're not going to connect to the multiplayer server. Um, I download the scenery. Sounds good. Uh, we set our anti-aliasing high. And there are add-ons. Uh, let's check this out. Okay, well, let's do this. Well, we'll do this later. Okay. Um, so we're going to select our aircraft. We have this installed, which is the, the base aircraft, the Cessna 172P, Skyhawk 1982. Uh, there are, I believe I have it saved here. There are multiple, There are, there's a website with, a ton of free planes. I don't see it. Let's just look it up real quick. Yeah, here we go. Here's every plane you you could ever imagine, all for free. Um, let's go ahead. Just we'll just download one. I know the 737, 800 a little. And we'll see if we can install one. We're going to do the tutorials. Um, but this will be interesting to find out. So if I do add ons. Why is it? Why is this closed up? Okay. Okay, let's fly here, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Additional aircraft folders. Okay, well, we'll, we'll just make one in the D drive. Yeah, we'll just do FG, and then we'll do... Is it called aircraft? Or we'll just do airplanes. And that's the folder we'll use. That's okay. We're going to move this. Uh, the one we just downloaded. To here. And we'll see if it, maybe if it automatically sees it. Or we have to, uh, yeah, probably have to, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay. All right, so we'll put this here. Decent size file, there might be some good fidelity to it. Okay, so if we can load that again. Let's go see what aircraft we have. Oh, we could or we could just do it from here. How's that? What do you think about that? These are free. This is insane. Okay, that's the one we come with. Oh, the Grand Caravan. Definitely want to have that. Look at these. A ten. Okay. 
F16. Are these? These are free. This is amazing. F14. Uh, more interested in the civilian aircraft for now. A shuttle. Seems like every one of these. Yeah. Oh, that looks like almost like a Baron. Can we search? We can. Let's do King Air. No aircraft. Okay. So we'll just stick with uh, the Cessna that we have. Maybe let's. Geez, there's so many. Um, there are so many airplanes here. Air traffic control. <laughs> yeah, I want that. Um, this might be really fun to do. I've been playing FSX and X-Plane and learning a lot just about, well, just about everything. But what those don't have, in my opinion, are super good tutorials. So I'm hoping, Antonov, I'm hoping these tutorials go in, in deep. Okay, let's go to aircraft. And we shall... We're going to select this one and we're just going to fly it. Like I said, this is free. I'll try to have the link in the description. Downloading the scenery. Awesome. I clicked up that one. Um, I checked that box. I don't think it'll do this every time, but I, I did force it this time. Temperature falling below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Interesting. Not sure how big these downloads are. So if you're hoping to just hop in, um, don't check the box. I'm not sure it's going to have any bearing on the tutorial anyway. Oh, here's something. Okay. Welcome aboard. Need help. Use help tutorials. We will help and tutorials. Okay, we're going to go with pre-flight. Start the tutorial. It's got some really pretty pictures. I hope that's from gameplay. Looks like it is. And I, if this is free, geez, this is already better than FSX. Is not Welcome to Hilo this. Airport. In this lesson, we all check the condition of our aircraft. All right. First, we all check the cockpit, and after that, we will walk around the aircraft. Okay, we're doing a just a right click, and the mouse can nav uh, can do a mouse pan. Verify that the pilot operating handbook is available in the cockpit. Brings up the checklist when you click on that. Remove the control lock if it is present. Okay, we're getting into it. This is pretty detailed. The parking brake has to be set lever points down. Okay. The magneto switch ignition must be off. It is off. The avionics power switch must be off too. It is off. Okay. Switch the battery on. Check the fuel level to see whether there is enough fuel available for your planned flight. I would say no, but I don't think we're going to fly in this one. Switch the battery off again. The fuel selector valve has to be set to both. Alright, okay, just want to make sure I recorded this. We're finished with checking the cockpit, now let's step out and inspect the exterior. 
Step out. Okay. Open the door. <laughs> okay. This is good. I'm just gonna close this. Close the door. It's a little buggy. Close Where's... the door. Oh, sorry. It's a little, uh... Baggage Should... door closed Should... and locked. Close the baggage door. Empen aged, not damaged, beacon light OK. Check elevator for freedom of movement by clicking on it. Okay. Check the elevator by clicking on it. I did. Rudder, check for freedom of movement by clicking on it. Remove the rear tie down. Wow. Right aileron, check for freedom of movement by clicking on it. Right wing, not damaged, strobe and red nav light OK, wing tip OK. Okay. Remove the right tie down. Right main wheel, tire pressure OK, no leaking brake fluid. Okay, no brake fluid leaking. You have to check if the fuel is contaminated with water, <laughs> take a fuel sample. All right. To prevent the engine from failing, the fuel must not contain any water. You have to take a sample of the fuel. Okay. If the sample is light blue, the fuel isn't contaminated and you can return it to the tank. If it's transparent, it's contaminated, you have to discard it. The fuel is light blue, you can return the sample to the tank. Check the oil level. Wow, look at is amazing. The oil level is good. Close the oil door. Okay. Remove the cowl plugs. Propeller spinner, not damaged, securely mounted, air intake free. Nose wheel, tire pressure okay, shock absorber all right, strut not damaged. Okay. Remove the wheel chocks. You have to check if the fuel is contaminated with water, take a fuel sample. If the sample is light blue, the fuel isn't contaminated and you can return it to the tank. If it's transparent, it's contaminated, you have to discard it. Much the like fuel is light blue, you can return the sample to the tank. Left main wheel, tire pressure okay, no leaking brake fluid. Okay. Remove the pitta tube cover. Remove the left tie down. Landing lights are okay. Left wing, not damaged, strobe and red nav light okay, wing tip okay. Looks good. Kinda looks like everything. Left aileron, check for freedom of movement by clicking on it. Okay. We've finished our inspection round, open the door. This is really cool. Close the door. Perfect. You're finished. The aircraft is in a good condition, and you're ready to start the engine. Okay. Well, join me in my next tutorial. We've gotten, we've done the walkthrough. We're going to break them up so we can get some small videos so people can watch them without having to sit down and get popcorn. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.